Whatever you're thinking. I can't even move. Well, well what, where are we going? Little Rock. For what? Go buy an airplane. <laughs> I don't know who thought up this crazy thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. It's a very a questionable airplane. Yeah. <laughs> You're crying happiness right there. Huh? <laughs> what's, what's the Happy tears. Oh. <laughs> wow, he flew. I... on everybody so I have not posted a video in a while mainly because I've been busy doing something pretty darn cool so I have a new acquisition in my collection I am right now if you're wondering in Star City Arkansas I'm out at the airport right now it's actually uh, Dumas Municipal Airport so it's actually north of Star City middle of nowhere Arkansas but this new acquisition that I got I'll give you a little sample here yeah aircraft bill of sale I bought an airplane <laughs> I gotta fly this airplane from Arkansas home and I'm gonna show you this airplane I, uh, I've been trying to find an airplane that fits my style of flying for quite some time now. I love Cessnas, I love Piper Warriors, but they never appealed to me the way that I felt fulfilled my flying needs. There's a lot of options out there. Frankly, the aircraft market right now is pretty crazy price-wise. So I wasn't just going to jump on, on the bandwagon of paying overly priced uh, retail values uh, for a, an airplane that shouldn't be costing that much so I was limited to certain options but I eventually came across an airplane uh, back in January that caught my eyes just because it was probably the most unique airplane I've I've seen in quite some time and it had some nice upgrades had uh, uh, the person that built it uh, you know is very detailed oriented it's an experimental aircraft but the best way I can put this, and I'm about to show you the plane, it's in this hangar right here. Best way I can put this is if a Stearman and a Piper Cub had a baby. If a Stearman and a Piper Cub had a baby. It's more Piper Cub than Stearman, I'll give you that. Way more Piper Cub, but it does have little things that are like, wow, it's kind of like a Stearman. And uh, well, I'm officially the proud new owner of this plane. I finished up the paperwork. This morning, right now the winds are terrible. There has been gusting here, probably 30, 30 knots, 40 knots. It's it's bad. It's really bad. So I haven't had a chance to fly yet. Hopefully it's gonna die down this evening. I'll take her up. If not, tomorrow looks really good. But enough of me talking. Let me let me show you this plane. And keep in mind, I have to fly this plane almost 800 nautical miles home. And you're gonna look at this and you're like, mother of God, are you really gonna be flying it that long? 
and it's a journey. It's I'm excited about it because it literally is going to be a journey. Give me one second. I'm going to put this away. So let's see here. Oh, is that it? One might ask. <laughs> Here's my plane. Now you're wondering, what is this? What the heck is this? I've never seen this before. And you're probably right, because I don't know of any airworthy ones currently. I, th I know of three that were registered. I don't know of any that are currently airworthy in the US. It's called a Powell P-70. And it's an experimental plane. And like I said, it literally looks like a Piper Cub. It has a Pi J3 Cub front, landing gear, tail, wings, except it's open cockpit. So this is my new beloved plane. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with it. It's ridiculous, especially compared to what I've been flying for the past year, but it's different. It's so different, I just fell in love. And I got it for a price that I couldn't refuse. I, I got it for a really good deal. It also has what I meant by upgrades. I'll show you the cockpit here. Uh, the power plant, it used to have a 65 horse A65. And the owner has now put in a 100 horse O200 with electric start. He upgraded the brakes. And I'm going to show you the cockpit. Yes, it's open cockpit. This one is just like a J3 Cub. You fly it from the rear. So that's really cool. I don't know if the GoPro will pick up the light here, but yeah, I mean. Master, all my switches, everything right there. Uh, full digital display here, I'll turn it on, let's see. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's my plane. This is my new, my new baby. My dad came down and he joined me with, on this journey um, down here to purchase this. And we're gonna fly it back. That is the plan. But I'm gonna do a little walk around here. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, really, really excited. I, don't, I just, I don't know, I, I kind of sit here and like, I own a plane. My first plane. To me, that's wow. Kind of hits you, you know. Here's the front. So this, you know, kind of makes it interesting to get in here because there's not. You got to kind of be a contortionist for the passenger. But let me open this up. There's a door Just like that. And the passenger gets in. There's your step right there. So I'm hoping, like I said, the winds die down. Right now it's not looking good. I, I have a whole route planned. Um, you know, it's gonna take about three days, four days to get home. It's doing about three hours a day. So, you know, I, yeah, I could fly it all at once, but I'd wear myself out. Open cockpit for all day long flying, I think it'd, it'd absolutely wreck you. So I'm gonna split it up between three and four days do the flying we're gonna go up through kansas we're gonna start in arkansas kansas and uh try to think of where else the arkansas go up to oklahoma to kansas to colorado is the plan uh, but you know being in those two of those states have the worst winds known to man so i gotta be really smart about this because this wind surface area is absolutely ginormous on this so calm winds which is I, you know it's impossible to say for kansas but there probably are a couple of flyable days to get through it and I just had to show you my new plane. A, uh, I'm very excited. I've never owned an open cockpit airplane outright. 
before. This is my first plane ever of being the sole owner and it feels really good. And it's not, I love Cessnas, but like, I've never seen something like this before. Cessnas probably safer, a lot safer, but <laughs> I, I'm really excited, so. Well, let's go uh, see if the winds behave. Go taxi it around, fire it up. Oh, and it has the greatest smoke system I have ever seen on an airplane, and it is on this. And I will demonstrate that. It is incredible. It's from a air tractor for egg spray, and it, it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you that too.